Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to use sprite animations inside your UI elements. To get started with, we first we need to create a project. So I am using Unity 2019.1.1 F1. So you can pick any version you like. The first thing we need is a sprite sheet that has the frames to be played in the animation. So I have already downloaded one animation frame. So we will just import that in the project. Okay, so one requirement of this is the sprite sheet has to be under the resources folder. So we'll create a new folder called resources and move the texture under that folder. Okay, so now we have the file under resources folder. Now if you click on the texture here, you will see only one sprite under the texture. What we but instead if you see this image, it has a lot of frames. So we need to tell Unity that this texture is a sprite sheet so the way we inform you to do that is click on the texture here in sprite mode instead of single click on multiple and hit apply once you do that see the sprite sheet has gone now so we need to tell how many now we have to pick the sprite the frames so click on sprite editor click on slice use the type as automatic and hit slice once you do that, you will see all the sprites have been extracted from one texture. Hit apply and close this. Once you go back, now you will see all these frames. So this texture has totally 24 frames of animations. You will see this here in the inspector. Okay, so now we have our sprite sheet ready with all the frames. The next thing that we need to do is create an image. So let me start from scratch. So create an image let's set it in the center of the screen okay so we have an image now we will be playing all our sprite animations on this image so next step is to create a script that will play your animation so create a script let's call it as sprite anim okay now open it <coughs> The first thing we need to do is we need to have a reference to the image. So okay. So private image including the namespace. So let's call it m image. Okay. So in start. We will go and get a reference to the image component. Okay. So now we have a reference to our image. The next thing we need to do is load the sprite sheet. So let's create a function called load sprite sheet. Okay. Okay. So all our sprites are uh, the, the, our sprite sheet is under the resources folder. So what we need is to create a list. So we'll create private sprite and array. So let's call it as sprites. Okay. So we come back to load sprite function. And sprites equal to resources dot load all of type sprite and specify the sheet name so our sheet name is so let's just copy this name okay now we need to check if our loading of the sprite was successful or not so even if this asset name is not available in the project or there is a typo error the sprite will never be null so it will be an array with a length of 0 so let's check for that to be on the space reverse side first check if it is null or not and if it has length of greater than 0 ok else we will just throw an error log error fail to load sprite sheet ok so now our sprites if we are here that means our sprite are loaded the next thing we need to know is how many what is the uh, speed with which we are playing the animation 
so let's expose some variables for it so let's make it public int frame rate so i would like to keep it as 30 so i would like to play, play the animation with a frame rate of 30 so that means each frame is up about 0 0.033 seconds okay the next thing is we need to know we need to calculate how many how much time each frame has to be stuck to so we will create a more variable called private float m time per frame okay let's keep it to zero for now we will fill it later okay so here now time per frame is 1 f over frame rate so this will decide how much how long each frame will be held now we need to calculate the keep track of the timer so for that let's create one more variable okay so now inside the update function okay let's there, there is a type over here let's fix it okay inside the update function we will say elapsed time plus equals time dot data time so if our elapsed time is greater than or equal to time per frame we need to move to the next frame so for that we need to keep track of how many frames we have and which currently which frame you are drawing so let's create one more variable private this will be an integer from current index or you can let's call it current frame so we start from 0 by default so if we are here then current frame plus frames. okay now let's check if we reach the end of the frame if current frame is greater than or equal to m sprites dot length then we have reached the end of the frame okay so this is we are good now we need to just spread the sprite so let's create one more function set sprite so here we will just apply the sprite from the sprite list okay that's it now after we change it we need to apply the frame okay and just make sure that we are within well within ranges here so if m current frame is greater or equal to 0 and m current frame is less than the sprite stop length so after we load the sprite sheet the first thing we do is we calculate how much time each frame requires okay once we do that now we have to start playing the animation so let's keep this disabled by default now we create a function called play so let's call it then it has to be public void Okay, so when you call play, the first thing we need to do is enable this and start animation. Okay. Once we reach end, we just disable the script. Okay, now let's see how it works. So we have an image over here now apply attach the newly created script to this now hit run now so the animation played but it played really fast so we couldn't see it so let's add one more variable that will control our animation speed let's call it as public float equals 1 the default value will be 1 so we will apply, we will just multiply this value with the delta time. Okay, let's go back to Unity again. Let it compile. Okay, run. 
okay so it is plain now let's reduce the speed to just point 1 you see now you can see the animation going much smaller than now okay let's add a looping option so we'll add one more flag over here so public rule loop default value is false now when we reach the end of the frame we check for this flag if looping is enabled then we set the current frame back to zero else we disable the script okay and one more thing okay well, we made one mistake over here the m elapsed time should have been zero once we move to the next frame the elapsed time has to be set to zero okay let's see how it works now okay so this is really slow so let's increase the speed to 0.5 yeah so this was without looping so let's stop it get it let's get back to speed of one enable looping and now run okay. now it is loading so this is all you need to do to get the ui animations inside sprite animations inside the ui so by default this is white text instead of that you can just do this drag and drop one of them here so this is your first frame from which you start the animation okay so hope you guys like it. Thank you.